Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of, well, everything that I try to make, which is things to help you out when it comes to aptitude tests. Now, this one in particular is not about math, language, or anything like that. This is part of my study hacks videos in which I try to help you study smart and not just study hard. Because if you're start studying really hard, but you're not, you're not studying smart, you're basically losing a lot of time and wasting a lot of resources and energy then. Kaya, we have to study smart. Now, today we're going to talk about sleep and how important it is, and also yung tips ko on how to get yourself to fall asleep. Now, why do we have to talk about sleep? And why is sleep so important? There are a lot of bad effects kapag hindi kayo nakatulog ng enough. Okay? One of those is yung in your physical na body will be a lot weaker. Uh, and tendency, if you don't get enough sleep, is that your body will be tense, magiging, uh, magiging tight yung muscles ninyo. And if ever nagpuyat na kayo, you probably have felt this. Alam niyo feeling na mabigat ka, or parang madali kang nangangalay, or madaling maging masakit yung inyong arms or limbs. That's because of lack of sleep. Ang sleep kasi ang nagkakatulong sa atin na mag-repair ng itong mga tissues, itong mga muscles, itong uh, everything that is broken in our body, those things are repaired kapag natutulog tayo. So kapag hindi kayo natulog, manalatili siyang broken at hindi kayo magkakaroon ng enough energy for the rest of the day. So, yan yung unang negative effect. The second negative effect is actually on, on your mood. Kapag kayo ay kulang sa tulog, kayo ay mainit ng ulo, madali kayo maging impatient, medyo mahirap sa inyo to uh, deal with other people, and those are things that you really need, especially if you're taking the test. Kasi kung kayo ay mainit ang ulo or medyo moody, kapag nag-exam kayo, maapektuhan din ang inyong scores. Kaya make sure that you get enough sleep, okay, for your own mood. Now, the third thing is when it comes to your cognitive ability or yung inyong utak mismo. If you don't get enough sleep, there are a few things that you may have challenges with. Number one, you'll have trouble with memory. Uh, pagdating sa memorizing ng mga bago, whether it's new information or retrieving old information, ibig sabihin, whether nag aaral kayo ng something new or if you're trying to remember something na inaral nyo na before, kapag kulang kayo sa tulog, mahihirapan kayo to deal with that. And syempre, gusto natin kapag na exam kayo, uh, talagang ready-ready yung inyong memory kasi kailangan yung i-recall itong mga formula, itong mga techniques na inaral ninyo bago kayo nag-exam. So if you've ever experienced yung, alam niyo yung nasa tip of your tongue na yung mga bagay or parang familiar to pero hindi ko matandaan, those are things na pwede nating uh, mag maging worse pa kapag hindi kayo nakakuha ng enough na tulog. So have to make sure that you get enough sleep. Okay? Now, here's the second part of the video. We're going to talk about my tips when it comes to getting sleep. I know kasi na marami sa inyo ang katulad ko, we have trouble sleeping. Uh, yung iba kasi meron silang pagpapala nung, alam niyo, tinatawag nilang masa or masandal tulog. Yung mga tao na, um, na pag-upo na pag-upo nila, nakakahanap sila ng tulog or, or nakagawa sila ng naps within the day. But if you're not like that, that can be a challenge for you. Ako personally, naiingit ako sa mga taong ganun. Kasi katulad yung younger sister namin, kapag sumakay kami sa sasakyan, so nag-commute kami or rather sinundo kami ni Papa, pagdating na pagdating niya sa sasakyan, within 5 minutes yan, tulog na siya. Uh, buong biyahe siyang tulog. Ako, uh, hindi ko yun nagagawa. Kasi pagdating sa sasakyan, gusto yung kuman makakatulog, hindi, minsan hindi ako nakakatulog talaga. Uh, and also, I don't do naps. Kasi pag nag-nap ako, sumasakit lang lalo yung ulo ko or mainit yung ulo ko, kaya hindi ako nag-nap. Natutulog lang ako paggabi. So, if you have a hard time finding sleep, these are the things that can be helpful sa inyo. Kasi ako, since bata, medyo hirap talaga ako matulog. Um, I've always dealt with night issues, like night terrors or nightmares or anything like that, even when I was young. So, it, it's really challenging for me to, to um, fall asleep kapag oras ng tulog. Um, I also was into a lot of things na nakakapuyat, like uh, theater productions or movies or stuff like that. Yun yung mga extracurricular na uh, dahil ako usually yung gumagawa ng script or ako ang director, I spend my nights, nisan hindi ako natutulog, just editing the script or just preparing for the tasks tomorrow. So, uh, lagi akong puyat. Kaya, yun ang dahilan ko bakit medyo mixed up yung aking body clock. So, every so often, kapag napapansin ko na lagi na akong nagpupuyat or nahihirapan ako makatulog paggabi, I do my own version of sleep training. And ito yung mga bagay na ginagawa ko para matulungan ako, matulungan yung sarili ko na makatulog kapag oras na na matulog. Okay? So, number one, no food. Okay? Anong no food? Um, it's not ideal kasi na kumain 
ng 2 to 3 hours before you, you go to sleep. So, for example, kung target niyong bedtime ay 10 p.m., make sure na by 8 p.m. ay hindi na kayo kumakain. So, kasama dyan ang midnight snack or anything else na uh, kakainin niyo whether candies lang yan or nuts or anything like that. Lalo na kung high on sugar yung isang pagkain, make sure na hindi niyo siya kakainin 2 to 3 hours before your bedtime. Okay? So, i-calculate nyo lang yun. So, for example, uh, kung target kong matulog ng by 10 p.m., kailangan 8 p.m., wala na akong kinakain, hindi na akong kumakain na kahit ano. Kung gusto nyo matulog ng 9 p.m., urong nyo lang siya. Again, 2 hours or 3 hours. Mas maganda kong 3 hours. So, mga 6 or 7, 6 or 7 um, dapat hindi na akong kumakain if I want to fall asleep by 9. Bakit ganun? Kasi kapag yung, yung katawan ninyo ay nagda-digest pa siya ng food, you will find it hard to uh, sleep ng yung tamang sleep, yung relaxing na tulog. Um, alam ko, usually kapag busog na busog kayo, parang gusto nyong matulog or yung sitawag natin food coma. Pero hindi yun counted. Yung sipra gusto pa natin ngayon is your deep sleep, yung talagang tamang pagtulog. Try not to eat para hindi kayo ma-distract, hindi ma-gising yung inyong digestive system. Okay? So again, 2 to 3 hours before bed, don't eat. Tip number 2, avoid caffeine. So anything na caffeinated, whether it's coffee, soft drinks, even tea, lalo na yung mga, yung mga common types ng tea, green tea, black tea, or whatever tea that is, try to stay away from that. Make sure that you drink just water um, leading up to your bedtime. Now, I understand there are exceptions to the rule. Uh, like me, for example, uh, mas madali ako makatulog kapag nakainom ako ng coffee or ng tea. Pero that's just me. So, kung kayo ay hindi naman ganun, make sure that you avoid caffeine. Try to steer clear of any liquid na may kulay. Yun yung aking advice. Kahit anong liquid na may kulay, iwasan nyo muna bag, pag matutulog na kayo. Stick to water. Okay? Tip number three. Make sure that you wear comfortable clothes. Now, um, I suggest that you get your own parang dedicated na sleeping clothes. Ibig sabihin itong mga damit na to ay hindi nyo pinambabahay or hindi nyo pinagtatrabaho. Bakit? Kasi you have to trick your brain into thinking na okay, sleep time na ngayon. And it always starts with a good outfit. Now, these are actually sent to me, were actually sent to me by Sam from Sammy's Jammy. So, thank you Sam for these. Ang link ng kanyang Facebook page at ng kanyang Instagram ay nasa baba. Uh, thank you for sending these. Sorry ngayon ko lang siya na feature. Um, but uh, I really hope that you guys check out her, her, her page and her Instagram. These are really, really comfortable. Okay? Bakit ko to nare-recommend? Kasi malambot siya, guys. Alam nyo yun yung tela na yung masarap ikis-kis sa face. Uh, breathable, tapos comfortable, medyo maluwang. So these are really good. Okay? So if you have your own dedicated na ganito, mas maganda. Alright? So let's try that out. Alright, so ito, di ba nakikita nyo naman, very soft, very breathable, very chill. At ang ganda pa ng colors kasi ang positive niya. So if you want to check that out, you can go ahead and uh, visit yung kanyang Facebook page at kanyang Instagram uh, account. Eh, DM nyo siya or kunin nyo yung kanyang uh, price list. They have um, a lot of stuff for kids, for adults. Pwede kayong magterno ng anak ninyo. Very affordable yung prices. So make sure that you go ahead and uh, check out her Links. Okay? Kasi, alam nyo, tagal ko nang naghahanap din ng ganito sa size ko. Kasi, as you can see, I'm a big girl. So, 5'7 uh, ako, I think. So, mahirap maghanap ng size na para sa akin, lalo na sa mga department stores. Uh, in fact, nitong December, uh, nag-family Christmas party kami. Tapos, ang theme dapat pajama party. Tapos, hindi kami makakita ng pajamas na turno-turno kami. So, had we known na merong ganito, sana ganun yung gagawin namin. So, baka this year, kung uulitin namin yung theme na yun, kukuha na lang kami para turn na turn na kami doon kay, kay Sam. So, make sure again, link na doon sa baba. Okay? So, that's tip number three. Bakit kailangan mo ng clothes? Kasi mapaprime niya kayo. Ah, okay. Pag suit ko na to, alam na ng katawan ko, sleep time na. Actually, medyo inaantok na ako ngayon. <sighs> tip number four, keep it cool. Ano ibig sabihin? Yung kwarto ninyo has to be cool. I know this is a challenge, lalo na dahil tropical country tayo. Lalo na kung wala tayong air conditioning unit sa kwarto. Pero at least, di ba, subukan ninyo na magkaroon kayo ng electric fan or enough na ventilation sa inyong kwarto kapag matutulog na kayo. Ang ideal temperature actually is around 20 degrees Celsius. So I know it's really cold. Uh, baka hindi tayo masyadong sanay doon kasi nga, Dito sa Pilipinas, masyadong mainit. So, ako, I go for around 25 to 27. Okay na yun sa akin. 
Um, 23 kaya pa rin. 20 medyo maginaw na yun sa akin, no? And I only do that kapag uh, nasa labas or nasa hotel minsan. Uh, at may comfort comforter ako. Pero ako kasi I sleep on a simple bed. Meron lang akong malong na which doubles as my sleeping bag and kumot. So, uh, yung 25, 27, okay na yun sa akin. So, make sure that you keep your room cool para mas, maging mas conducive siya for for sleeping. Kapag may init kasi, makatulog man kayo, hindi komportable yung init. So, hindi lumalalim yung tulog natin. So, ang ideal talaga is mas malamig yung setting para mas maganda yung quality ng sleep ninyo. Okay? Tip number five, practice a bedtime ritual. Ano yung ritual na to? Nothing voodoo, nothing weird, walang chants or anything like that. Ang sinasabi kong uh, bedtime ritual is just a series of things that you do right before you go to sleep. That way, yung katawan naman paprep siya na parang, okay, boss, uh, okay, naghihilamas ka na ba? Okay, matutulog na siguro kami. Para yung katawan mo, ready na siya na, matutulog na siya after that. Ako personally, what I do is, uh, I drink my vitamins, I drink water, I brush my teeth, And then I clean my face, tapos I yun yun, toner, tapos moisturizer, pag trip ko, pag hindi, or naging oily ako yun, nagma-moisturizer. Tapos after nun, uh, tapos na yung aking ritual, and then I go to sleep. Pag ginanahan ako, mag-face mask, dahil nagpapadala kayo sa minsan ng face mask sa akin, so thank you again. Uh, I use that too. And then, my body knows na again, it's time to sleep na. Part of, a uh, crucial part of my evening ritual actually is removing my glasses. Ako kasi, sanay ako na lagi ako naka-glasses. The first thing that I reach for in the morning are my glasses kasi wala akong makita. Uh, na malinaw kapag hindi ako nakasalamin. And that's also the last thing that I take off at night. So, kapag tinanggal ko na yung glasses ko at night, I know na it's time to sleep. And my body knows that it's time to sleep. Kaya rin kapag nagbabiyahe ako at gusto ko makatulog, I remove my glasses. Kasi parang na-prime ko na yung sarili ko na kapag nakatanggal yung glasses ko, pwede na ako magpahinga. Okay? So, that can be different for you guys. Now, another part of my ritual would be Of course, Devo time, you can talk to the Lord, you can meditate, you can pray, you can read your Bible. That can be a really good part of your ritual then. Kasi when you do that, uh, it helps you calm down and it helps you kind of close the day para bukas, ready ka na naman para buksan yun ulit. Okay? So again, practice of a bedtime ritual. Tip number six. This is actually very important. Medyo naisip ko nga dapat ba inuna ko ito. Pero I'll tell you this na lang dito ngayon. Uh, ito yung isa sa pinaka-importanting tips na maibibigay ko sa inyo. And kung posible nyo itong magawa, please do this kasi this will help you a lot. It's this. Make sure that your bed is dedicated to sleep and nothing more. Well, unless of course you're married and whatever that is that else you do in bed. Pero for us singles out there, make sure that your bed is only for sleep. Bakit? Kasi... Dapat yung katawan mo alam niya na pag pumiga na ako sa kama, sleeping time na. It's very dangerous and I, I've seen this again and again sa mga tao na hirap makatulog. I ask them, kung nahihirap ka matulog, tanong, nanonood ka ba ng TV sa kama mo? Nagbabasa ka ba sa kama mo? Uh, nanonood ka ba ng Korean novelas or nag youtube ka ba habang nasa kama mo? If you do any of those things, you may find it hard to fall asleep sa bed ninyo. And you can comment down below if you agree. Okay, bakit ganon? Kasi, ang nangyayari doon, yung katawan mo, ang feeling niya, yung kama mo is an extension of your living room. Feeling niya, part lang yun ng living room mo, ang feeling niya, sofa lang yun. So, ang nangyayari, nasasanay siya na pag pumunta siya doon, or pag pumunta ka doon, umupo ka doon, hindi ka matutulog. You're doing something else. You're going to be busy. So, para maiwasan niya yung feeling na yun, make sure that your bed is only for sleep. Okay? Ako, for example, uh, sa mornings, kahit natatempt ako na huminga sa kama ko para magbasa or ganun, I, I do, don't do that anymore. I stopped doing that actually later in life. Uh, ano na, nag-work na ako uh, noon, nung ginawa, sinimulan ko tong gawin, and I found it very effective. So anything I do na kailangan ko pang gawin, I do it on my desk, and then kapag talagang ready-ready na ako matulog, that's the only time that I go to bed. And I also avoid watching anything there. So, hindi ako nag-candy crush, hindi ako nag-mobile legends while I'm on bed. If I'm going to play, ang ginagawa ko, uh, umuupo ako sa tabi ng bed ko or umuupo ako sa chair ko, pero not on my bed. Kasi pag humiga ako sa bed, automatic na naantok na yung katawan ko kasi sabi niya, okay, boss, ano na, parang garahe na, kaya matutulog na siya. Dahil lang, nakakondition yung brain ko na yung bed ko na yon is only for sleep. Okay? So, if you can do that, do that. Um, pwede kayong mag-set up ng ibang area for your study time or for your watching time. Kahit doon lang kayo umupo sa gilid ng bed, wag lang sa mismong bed ninyo. Kasi ang mangyayari, mahihirapan kayo makatulog. Kasi every time umupo kayo sa bed, parang yung katawan ninyo, parang gagawin siya, boss, ano ba? Anong mga exciting yan? Anong episode na pa tayo? 
Ganun yung feeling niya. So, para maiwasan niyo yun, make sure that your bed is dedicated to sleeping. Okay? We're going by order of kung ano yung ginagawa ko. So, ito yung tip number seven. You have to turn off all the lights. Now, I know some of the, uh, you guys may be parang hindi kayo sanay sa madilim na kwarto pag natutulog na kayo. Uh, and ako rin for the longest time. Actually, hanggang nag-college ako, hindi ako nagpapatay ng ilaw pagtulog. Nakabukas lang siya lagi. Uh, nasanay akong ganun. And kapag patay yung ilaw, niya ako makatulog. Pero I had to train myself to fall asleep kapag madilim yung kwarto. And the reason for that is kasi I knew that the quality of sleep that I'm getting is not enough. Kung feeling nyo minsan you wake up na parang pagod ka pa rin, uh, and you feel like that all the time, dahil nakabukas yung inyong ilaw, you have to change that. Kasi yung katawan natin, nag-react siya sa, sa dilim at saka sa liwanag. Kapag maliwanag yung kwarto mo, lalo na kung ganito kaliwanag sa kwarto ko, yung katawan mo feeling niya umaga pa rin. So, make sure that you avoid that. Now, here's a new thing. Avoid blue light. Yung blue light na tinatawag is yung ilaw na ina-emit ng mga devices. So, make sure that you turn off all of your devices kapag oras nyo nang matulog. Kasama na ang cellphone doon. Now, there are devices that allow you to change your setting para mawalan kayo ng, mawala yung blue light na tinatawag. Like for this one, this phone na to. Meron siyang blue light filter so you can turn this off. Yan. So, mag-iiba yung kulay or settings ng iyong, uh, ng iyong phone. You can do that. Sa laptop din, sa Max usually, meron din silang option na ganun. Kung mapipilitan kayo na mag-work through the night, so mga 8pm, nagkatrabaho ka pa rin, at least change yung inyong blue light filter sa inyong de device. Kung wala naman, okay lang din. I-dim nyo na lang. Keep it dim. Kasi kapag maliwanag masyado yung screen, uh, mag masasakitan nyo mata ninyo kasi feeling niya umaga pa rin. So kung kaya ninyo gradually i-dim, gawin nyo yon At kung matutulog na kayo, make sure that you turn off your lights. Now, there is a breathing exercise then that can help you sleep. This is a bit of a bonus. Hindi nyo naman kailangan gawin, pero baka makatulong sa inyo. And sa akin, nakatulong siya. I'll walk you through the exercise. And this is what I use kapag hindi ako komportable sa isang sitwasyon. Like for example, last week, uh, I went to Batangas with World Vision to visit uh, one of my sponsored kids there. Uh, and ang nangyari was, natulog kasi kami sa Tagaytay. And meron akong roommate. And hindi ako usually sanay na merong roommate with me being socially anxious and all that. So, dahil may roommate ako, nahihirapan ako makatulog. At dahil may roommate din ako, hindi ko alam kung gusto niya bang patay yung ilaw. Or hindi ko nagawa yung buong ritual ko at hindi ako natutulog sa sarili kong bed. Kung namamahay kayo uh, sa mga ganong sitwasyon like me, or if you're one of the people na luluwas sa Manila or lilipat sa ibang probinsya para mag-exam and you're going to have to sleep in a hotel, this may be really helpful sa inyo. So, I'll walk you through yung breathing technique. Okay? There's this breathing technique na tinatawag na 4-7-8. And I do this, although hindi, hindi ako masyadong strict sa kung gano'n siya kahaba. Pero, uh, you can try to practice it. Ang ginagawa lang dito, again, this is a breathing exercise to help you relax and help your body calm down and get it ready to sleep. What you can do would be this. Breathe in for 4 seconds. So, in for 4 seconds. And then hold it for 7 seconds. Huwag ka munang hihinga. And then you have to breathe out slowly ng 8 seconds. Okay? So again, breathe in for 4 seconds. Hold for 7 seconds. And then breathe out ng 8 seconds. Okay? Now, you can do that. And usually, what I, I experience is after mga 3 or 4 times of doing that, inaantok na ako. Another advice that I think I talked to you about na rin before is to make sure that you have a scent, a certain scent, to kind of trigger na matutulog ka na. You can do it using candles or using anything else. Ako personally, lavender talaga yung go-to go ko na smell. So I have a lavender na cream that I use. Um, nabigay ng kapatid ko, let me just get that for you. Alright, so again, hindi to sponsored ha, pero yung kaibigan kasi niya yung nagbebenta daw nito. So, ang pinaka huli kong advice would be this, if you did something wrong to someone, meron kayong atraso, meron kayong kailangan pagsorihan na tao, or bawian, or uh, kailangan nyo mag-apologize, or magpatawad, make sure that you do that din. Kasi kapag wala kayo iniisip na ganun, mas masarap matulog sa gabi, and wala kayong intindihin. So, kung yung mga may utang, magbayad, yung mga may atraso, mag-sorry, that way, mas magiging magaan yung pagtulog ninyo.
Okay? So, thank you guys for watching. I hope makatulog to, makatulong to sa inyo, sa inyong pagtulog. And uh, if you want more of these, don't forget to comment down below. I would love to hear back from you then. So, if you want any of my other content, my free video lessons or my questions that I made, mga quizzes or anything like that, I'll be posting a bunch more this uh, week dahil malapit na August 12th exam. You can go to www.facebook.com slash for that. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon para wala kayo ma-miss. There are more videos like this coming right up. Thank you guys for helping me reach 61,000 subscribers right now. I'm really overwhelmed dun pa lang sa pagsasabi ng number na yon. And it brings me so much joy that I get to help everyone out there who needs help when it comes to test taking tips or even motivation or anything that you're here for. So hopefully, I can keep making as much content as I could, as I could, hanggat kaya ko pa, susubukan kong tulungan kayo. So thanks guys, and God bless you guys. Never stop learning. Adya-adya kayo niyan. I'll see you in my next video, and bye for now.